This is your boy, Mr. Top Pill Pod, a.k.a. E-Money Boss. And I'm your girl, Jamila, with her own boss. And I'm also Awesome Toes TV. And welcome to another episode of the Top Pill Podcast, sponsored by Quality Touch Studio. Thank you guys very, very much. And welcome, guys, to another episode of Top or Not, where we react to some new music and also some requested music that you guys sent to us. Make sure you guys leave in the comments below what you guys want us to react to next. We end it. We always end the comments. This is the thing which I talk about. Faithful. All right, we got another record. Apparently, it's another disc record, and apparently, it's an unreleased record as well too. Like I guess this Jones just kind of like leaked out or something like that. Ooh. I'd like to know more information on this record. If you guys, the Easy Easy Mill Success Gang, if you guys know, uh, you know how this record came about, I'd love to know. All right, guys. Welcome, Austin Toes. Gang, gang, gang. Good, bro. All right, so we got the last record of the night. We got Easy Mill with Fuck Your Encouragement. Mm. Let's see what this y'all talking about, man. Is he even talking anything? We got some volume in here? Okay. The fuck, man. I'm sick and tired of this shit. Fuck your encouragement. Go ride this up. Look. I've been sick and tired of every single little thing y'all bitches keep talking about. From having the bitch on the side, holding it down and chasing the clout. Well, I'm here doing every single motherfucking thing by myself while I'm paving a route. But all of my homies and all of the real ones who are laughing, you'll shit when we take you out. I already like the where he's going with this. Yeah. Because I'm tired of hearing all the other shit too. Like, talk about your side bitches, talk about this. Like, what what else are you going to talk about, man? We heard this story before. Yeah. By everybody. We know, we know already. Yeah, we know, we man. Know. Um, I like the fact that um, this is a remix to the Future record. Right. I didn't know that at first. Be encouraged, yeah. Um, also, this really feels like his slashy side to me. Mm-hmm. His his slashy alter, alter ego. ego. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like it. And he's floating on this beat, too. Yeah. I'll run this shit back real quick. I like that boy. Bitch on the side, holding it down and chasing the clout. Well, I'm here doing every single motherfucking thing by myself while I'm paving a route. But all of my homies and all of the real ones who are laughing, you'll shit when we taking you out. Gang, gang, till I die, that's what everybody says now. Mm. Why don't y'all go out and kill somebody in his sin now? Mm. Cause if you don't, the bro, the shit is pretty contradicting, ain't it? How you gonna turn the whole world that you bang when you can't even kill your own friends and your family? Body up. I want to go back to the green bars where he was talking about the where he was basically getting on the gang gang gay till I die. That's what everybody's saying now. Why don't y'all go out and kill somebody innocent now? That's heavy. That's heavy, man. And, and it's it's crazy to me because me, you, I know for a fact, and a lot of other conscious people, people who are thinking mm-hmm. in our community. In the mm-hmm. black community, I'm like, why are we still talking about this? In well, the record sale. You're right, the record sale. Because they let those kind of records sell. They sales. want them to sell. They, they want you to be talking about that ignorant shit and that shit that's not going to get you nowhere. Yeah. And the excuses for people like that, it's like, I'm just rapping what I know. I'm just rapping what... I'm. It's like a mirror, you know what I mean? Like, this is the lifestyle I grew up in and now I'm rapping about it. But the only issue is you rapping about it is glorifying glorifying it. Whether that's your intent or not. Yeah, man. Like I just I just went to a visual, man, and while two kids lost their life, it was it was so sad, man. Mm-hmm. You got an eighteen year old who lost his life and a twenty one year old that lost his life. And they're having this candlelight visual, man. And while they're doing this visual, you got people playing like young dolph and like you know, like a whole bunch of like rap. And that ain't folk. encouraging nothing more, but more the cycle. Yeah, and and, and not to just single out young dog, but like you know those kind of yeah. that kind of rap music. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just like glorifying death and killing people. And I'm just like, yo, we just lost somebody, and y'all trying to make a music video and listen to this kind of stuff like that. It's just like, bro, like, yeah. when are we gonna get out of this cycle? Right. When are we gonna move on? And, and I appreciate and Easy Mill for like shit. Here's the thing for pointing this out. I do appreciate Easy Mill for doing it. Mm-hmm. But why he got to be the one to do it? But he's not, not, not saying yeah. not saying like he shouldn't or not right. downplaying it. But why? And he's not the only one. I know he's not. there are other black rappers who are too trying, but, but they don't they're get the trying, look. Trying, but they don't get the look. They don't get the look. He literally is doing this, and he has a whole country behind him, right? 
supporting everything he's saying and they're like yeah we don't want to hear that shit either right. we want to hear you right give us something you know, new give us give something, us something fresh. Not, yeah something different yeah. like i'm happy he's doing this and it's funny because some of the music he's talking about is some of the music i like listening to yeah but i still understand yeah. like man it's gotta be and should i stop listening to that music that's the hard question. Because, That's the because because yeah. now you gotta start reflecting on self. You know yeah. what I mean? Like if I'm listening to the music, I'm supporting it. I'm right. People around I'm me keeping. It. I'm giving it more life. I'm keeping and it I can't burner, sit yeah. here. And I love that Easy Mill is, is is spurring a conversation like this one yeah. because that's what he wanted to do. Obviously, right. Um, especially on a future beat. He he For knew sure. exactly yeah, what he, he was doing. Yeah, he knew exactly <laughs> what time it was. He flipped um, his whole jump. The thing is. Cause I'll look and be like, man, I'm um, I'm just one person. Me not listening no more. It's not really gonna do nothing. So I can keep enjoying it. But that's the wrong mindset to have exactly. in these type of situations. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I just like that he did that. And it's funny because <laughs> here's the funny part about it. Mm. If you listen to this again, his auto tune is fucked. <laughs> like that, his auto tune is ass on that part. What? But I think it was intentional. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I think Future just don't know how to hit a note. <laughs> <laughs> be the band, like, don't get me started on that nigga. <laughs> oh man, I forgot you. You love Future. Yeah, yeah. She hates Future. Everybody she hates absolutely you. hates him. <laughs> Joseph and Moses be wo- mowing the groves in the uh, what do you say in the in the in the be weeds? Moving the groves in the weeds while, while I be sowing the seeds. seeds. Mm. <laughs> that's that's a hell of a over the no telling weeks, hoping it breeze in the multiple G's over in no telling week. Oh my God, he's separating the weeds from the what's the Bible shit? The what's the uh Bible. the weeds from the uh? Oh, no, I don't read the Bible. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's separate. Nigga, that. Oh, my God. I don't know what's going on in here. I'm sorry. It was his bars. It's why not be sowing they seeds. Yeah. Uh, fuck you, encouragement. I got the nourishment just to put dirt on your name because you're the one that's to blame. Yeah. Look, fuck you, encouragement. I got the nourishment just to put dirt on your name because you're the one that's to blame. I don't even want to be one of those motherfuckers that are claiming that the greatest and all that bullshit, folks. Because literally everyone trying to be the goat with like thoughts on the Instagram motion, folks. I need a whole fan base that'll put food on the table and the Lord knows it, folks. It's a comparison, but believe me, I am still trying to figure who the fuck is the culprit. That's it. That says it all. That says it all. I don't even want to be one of those motherfuckers that are claiming that the greatest and all that bullshit. Because literally everyone trying to be the goat and y'all like thoughts on that Instagram whole shit. I need an occult fan base that'll put food on the table and the Lord knows it. The fan base is real though. Shout out to you guys. Man. Y'all paying the bills. And we love it. Yeah. Yeah. I love this shit. You know what this reminds me of? If you got <laughs> little dick, <and> <laughs> little brain. dick and brain, bro. Fuck yes, man. I love, I love that shit. That shit is fire, yeah. man. Like, shout out to and the look, man. it's him and Slashy. Yeah, exactly. So it was. It was Slashy. Yeah. Time. yeah, man. It's fire, man. Let's hold this shit back, man. Shout out Slashy, man. Yeah, because I wasn't even ready for him to switch that flow like that right. into that flow, especially. Yeah. <laughs> this bitch is going to know about PGM. <laughs> Please not get mad. Only if you can just be 
Fucking encouragement. Featuring Slashy. Featuring Slashy, man. I'm going to say, this is my favorite rapping version of Easy Mill uh, record so far. Like, compared to even Fraud, Freeze, and stuff like that, this this one spoke to me more. I like this one a lot more. Um, still, First of Last is my favorite Easy Mill record. Like, well, okay. Man, that shit's fire. Yeah, First of Last. First of Last is crazy. Although... And- they told me it's two other ones that we would like even better. We're gonna dig into that too. We're gonna get into that Renaissance. I already said that wasn't the best day of uh, him either. Yeah, I can already tell. I feel like there's, there's that definitely was a little taste. There's, def- there's definitely more. We're gonna get into that um, back on the next episode for sure. But um, yeah. This fuck your encouragement record, Love man. It. Like, I mean, obviously, y'all heard the conversation we just had a couple minutes ago. Mm-hmm. He he provoked conversation. Yes. Like to get on a trap beat. With a, a rapper who's known to do what Future raps about, and just like this first comment, after watching Future's "Be Encouraged," now I see what you now know what you mean. What you pointed out in many of your raps, this song made me want to go watch Future's "Be Encouraged." Yeah, just to be like, mm. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, y'all know that's why I don't fuck with Future. Right. Like, that's- <laughs> But it's not That's just future. Like, no, 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 but he is the head dog. <laughs> he <laughs> is the toxic of the toxics. <laughs> is, is he the way one that we were? For me. Hey, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's something. Cause, all right. What happens with me in future is it's, he's so consistently on the bullshit. Right. You know what I mean? Like, he never gives us a not so toxic future. Right. You know how, like, we got a little baby and he gets in this little these different bags where it's not always about like you know trapping just, and shit like that yeah. he's like talking about some grown give man us shit give something yeah. else instead of degrading our women mm-hmm. drugs dr- it's like for me my issue was the pharmaceuticals like mm-hmm. all this lean these pills and stuff like that but is you know the sickening. crazy thing to your point is and I could be wrong somebody can fact check me but I heard one, at one point and was told that he don't even do them he don't even he do don't. them yeah he just rap about them because they pay him. Mm-hmm. Duh, and that's my issue. And that's with most future. rappers. That's most but rappers. But a lot of but rappers do is them like, too, though. Yeah, a lot of rappers yeah. do them, or they talk like about how said, they used to do it. Future is one of the main people who know better, who ain't doing it, and obviously knows better because there's a reason he not doing, doing it. it. And, that, and that's and that's the thing. Like that's to me, how much more can Future grow? Can we hear a future? You're looking for growth out of the demon himself. <laughs> I was like, at some point, the devil at some to point, give you a blessing. At some point, <laughs> that makes sense. At some point, I mean, hey, look how long he's been out. Has he tried? I, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, he, can, he, he dropped the bag right with Sierra. We should have known. He said he was gonna get his bitch back. Still ain't get his bitch back. We should have known then. There is no bitch. coming back. <laughs> Sierra proved it. He got new bitch. You know? <laughs>
Yo, I heard that, that shit. In the, I heard that shit in the strip club. This bitch was screaming that shit at the top of his lungs. That shit was hilarious, dog. Like, damn, he got the strippers saying this shit. This is fucked Future up. Future said, "Look in the mirror and tell yourself she didn't deserve you." Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Shout out to. Yeah, you know, right. had, a uh, had a concert where he just had all the uh, memes. <laughs> I'm so mad I wasn't there. Like, I've been dying laughing. Are you kidding me? That shit's hilarious. But he laughing at himself, but all that shit is true. Yeah, you he was ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't uh oh. Shit. He's okay why with we gonna glorify that? Yeah, that's not good. That's why I don't fuck with him. Why are we glorifying shit? That's so, like me going to get a pile of shit right now or Beyonce shit. It's like, here, but it's Beyonce's. In my yeah. defense, I don't have any it? future in oh. my playlist. I don't have any mm-hmm. future in my... I don't. I do. The only... <laughs> actually... Okay, I'm lying. Like, no, I, I don't have him. future. I, I have Hendrix. I do hate him, but I, I don't, don't really have future. I have Hendrix. That I love. A dirty Sprite? I mean... Nah, I, I mean, only Drake have... Had a whole oh, yeah. What a time to be alive. Back, back. <laughs> oh, damn. I guess I do got future in my... <laughs> I want to say the future and Drake collabs are crazy. Okay, so that I have, but... If Let's we talking Drake. about just solo future, because it's Drake. If we just talking just future, no, I have a couple. Of all I have is Hendrix, and that was his R and B album. Yeah, and to me, that was his greatest album that he's ever put out. In my in my personal opinion, and Hendrix is the only album of futures that I have. All right, so back to this Easy Meal record, y'all. Um, what do y'all think of the MJK? Uh, uh, the, the MJK that, that was, this. That, he wasn't really. He, he didn't, I don't feel like he wasn't dissing. Yeah, he wasn't music. really trying to. Just because. I feel like if he, he really, really wanted, wanted to. Murder, to murder, yeah, if he really wanted exactly. to. Exactly. He would have. Like, he was, he was being merciful. Was he was a jab. Yeah, he was, he was just like, I'm going to just make sure y'all know whose side I'm on. And right, then exactly. I'm going to keep it moving. Yeah, that's, that's how I felt. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 he said himself, bro, that bar didn't even make any right, sense. Right, Flash came and said, yes, like, come I on. No, but just leave it alone. Like, people will like it if you don't. And it was so funny because as he was saying, it didn't make sense. I was just thinking to myself, yeah. 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 That, yeah. yeah, it didn't make any sense. And he knew that, but he was just letting it be known. Listen. Bitch, I said your name. Listen. And it was that. You know I just want you to know. You know what side I'm on. Yeah, you know whose side I'm on. Yeah. All right, y'all. I liked it, though. I like Fuck Your Encouragement. Yeah, I like it. I, I love this. I love this. And he. And you know what's to be honest? My last point on this, I even see it as less of a diss and more of a. Come on, you should want better for your community than I do. Why I want better for, for your sure. community than you? I feel like he would. That's more like a a hey, rappers. Wake up, wake up, bro. Like you should want better for your community than I want for your community. Cause I'm putting off for my people. We know that. <laughs> so that's my last point about it. Is a hey, rappers? I'm a, I'm gonna just echo Easy Mill. A hey, rappers, let's wake up, bro. Let's do better for our people. Because we always complain about nobody doing for us. But shit, we not doing for us either. So let's do better for us. And if we are doing better for ourselves, we got to support it. That's support the, the people who we, are doing better We got to support us. the people who are actually trying and, and actually doing this stuff like that. We do not have no motherfucking trains. We got the all mainstream people that's mm-hmm. already popping. The only, the only one we support is Jay-Z. But we even he even started out in yeah. talking about that A lifestyle selling, that he lived and stuff, stuff like that. Like that yeah. But now he's he's grown. You know what I'm and saying? That's the he thing. Like, even, even with his most recent album, the 444 album, that was some grown band shit. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, and people yes. just like, ah, I didn't really fuck with that though. I love that album. I love yeah. that shit. Talk about like, yo, like, you know, being loyal to your woman, building credit, building wealth. Like, you know Crazy what I mean? Crazy thing, I also never listened to Jay-Z's earlier music. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I listened to this second life Jay-Z. Mm. I've it's never like listened Jay-Z. to the early Jay Z personally. Yeah. Like, like I said, I'm not a huge hip hop rap fan. Like, I have the stuff that I grew up on. Snoop mm-hmm. Dogg was the first rapper I ever heard in my life mm-hmm. on the Dog Pound album. It was the first first rap music mm-hmm. I ever heard in my life, and that was in middle school. Wow. I hit. I I listened to nothing but my dad didn't let me listen to nothing but country no, until I got up here. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing but country. But yeah. my mom had the Snoop Dogg album head <laughs> in her room, <laughs> and I saw that, and I was like, let me hear that. Let me pop this in. And I fell in love with black people. But, uh... <laughs> I love myself. <laughs> <laughs> that might be why that was my... To Pimp a Butterfly is my favorite Kendrick album. Yeah, it grew with me. That, at first, it wasn't To Pimp a Butterfly. You know what's crazy it for me? It was, it was best from Jump. It was yeah. my favorite from Jump. 
I was upset. I remember when they actually leaked the album. They, they leaked the album by accident. I remember yeah. I was on the road from Pennsylvania. They leaked the album. I like, I'm like, listen to this Kendrick. I heard this shit. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I was so mad because I'm a Kendrick fan. So when I'm hearing you was um, looking for Good Kid, Kid Mad City, City and Section 80 yeah, and OD yeah, 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 and like yeah. his older shit, the Kendrick Lamar EP, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this jazzy you know what's crazy? shit? crazy? Jazzy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It took it took Jay Z a while to step up and do his second life of rapping yeah. and, and content. Kendrick did that shit second or third second studio album. It, it took, album. It took a lot of balls for him to switch up. The Hell yeah! Because like like a lot of people didn't read it well. And that album to me grew better than the other albums. Yes, well too. It much, aged, much it aged much much, much better. better. And he deserved all those fucking Grammys that he got nominated for because yeah. they robbed him for the first album exactly. anyway. So. Congratulations. Hey, yeah. look. Welcome Easy to the Talk Podcast, y'all. Listen, we just, come on, Shout man. out to you, Easy Mill, because you sparked this whole conversation For sure. with this song. So, yeah. And shout out to his Ooh. fans as well, too. We appreciate you guys so very much. Um, let us know in the comments below what records we should listen to next. I know he got a lot in the tuck. I'm interested to hear that uh, Renaissance EP, you know what I mean, yeah. with the more the Res- singing Res- bag. Yeah. I've seen the Slashy channel as well, too, for the Heavy Metal Joan. Let us know, man. Leave us in the comments below. Let us know what we should listen to next. And the record with his sister. We got to hear yeah. his sister, Rain and Sorrow. Because apparently his whole family is freaking talented. Thank you, guys. Her, his sister name, is her artist name, I think, is Rain and Sorrow. Wow. That's dope. Yeah. And I thank you guys for letting us know that his father was on the uh, record first and last live yeah, 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 on the guitar. Yeah. His family's super talented, man. It's super dope. All right, guys, we got to get up out of here. We took enough studio time in here, so we got to get up out of here. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching, listening to another episode of the Top Hill Podcast. We would not be here without you guys. And by the time you guys hear this, we'll be at 3,000 subs, man. man. Thank y'all so much. 3,000 subs. I cannot I'll believe that. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> you, you never know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, and also I want to make this announcement as well, too. Um, we are going to be going live on YouTube now. So you guys want to hear our live reactions or if you guys want to submit records to us live or to react live, you guys can do so on YouTube, Eastern Standard Time, Mondays at 8 p.m. That's Tuesday, 8 a.m. for the Philippines. I believe that is probably like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning for South Africa. My bad, Africa. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're going to be live Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time every week um, on YouTube. So make sure you guys tune in and check us out there as well, too. I'm your boy, E-Money Boss. I'm your girl, Jamila, with her own boss. And I'm also on Austin Toes TV. We love you all. We out. Peace. Peace. Top hill, top hill, top hill, 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 hill,